Hey everyone, it's that 80s nostalgia toy guy again. Let's get something out of the box. Welcome back to the Clutch's Table. Welcome back. I am that 80s nostalgia toy guy, and today you see exactly what we're going to go over. We are going to unbox my first Iron Studio statue. That's right, my first Iron Studio piece ever. I've seen so many awesome pieces that Iron Studio puts out, but I've never really been a statue guy per se until really recently. And this is my very first Iron Studio statue to unbox. And I am excited because I am unboxing the Dark Knight, the Joker, portrayed by the amazing, late, great, Keith Ledger. My favorite DC villain of all time is the Joker. I love him in the comics, throughout the animated series, all the live action TV shows, and all the movies that the Joker appears in. Eliminate Batman from the scene! <laughs> Jack is dead, my friend. You can call me Joker. It's going to be a bumpy ride. <laughs> Honey, I'm home. Are you sweet talking me? I often wonder how many alternate timelines do you destroy the world because frankly you don't have the colonies to die yourself but my favorite is Heath Ledger's portrayal of the Joker in 2008's The Dark Knight. Ooh, he, ha, ha, and I thought my jokes were bad. Such an amazing film, such an amazing actor, and Batman is my favorite DC superhero. So, I've got my favorite supervillain from my favorite superhero film. An amazing combination. Black peas and carrots. Plus, we have Iron Studios, an amazing collectible creator. And for the first time, Iron Studios is on my collector's table, and I'm very excited. And I just can't hide it. This is the first piece in my Iron Studios collection, but I guarantee you there are more. So you Iron Studios fans, you Iron Studios collectors, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't, and hit that notification bell too. That way you get notified of all my future Iron Studios unboxings and reviews and videos. And since you're still with me, go ahead and hit that like button. I appreciate that very much. I appreciate what, what, what you show me right now. Now, let's go over the box art here before we get this one-tenth scale statue of the Joker from the Dark Knight film out of the box. On the front there, we have that very awesome haunting picture of Heath Ledger as the Joker from the Dark Knight film. See, I'm not a monster. I'm just ahead of the curve. You have the Dark Knight logo and you have Iron Studios logo. Plus up there in the top left corner, you'll see that Art Scale Deluxe one tenth Scale logo there. That's what this figure is. On the top there, we have the Dark Knight logo. On the bottom, some useless information we care nothing about. On that side, we have the Iron Studios logo. On this side, we have Iron Studios and the Joker. On the back, we get to see what this statue looks like. Amazing box art here by Iron Studios. Gets me very excited for what's inside the box. What's in the box? Without further ado, let's get this one-tenth scale statue by Iron Studios of the Joker portrayed by Heath Ledger in the Dark Knight film from 2008 out of this box. This Joker statue comes in two pieces. That's it, two pieces. It takes you to 
they made the Joker by himself with his stand right here. There's a hole right there on the base, and there's a stud piece down there on the bottom of the Joker's foot that just fits right into that hole. We're gonna put these two pieces together and we're gonna go over the Joker. We'll set the base down there and we'll insert Joker into that base just like that. It's like this and like that and like this, Santa. And there he is. There is this one-tenth scale statue by Iron Studios. This thing is just Cool. It is very nostalgia provoking to me because I absolutely love the Dark Knight film. We're going to take a real quick measurement to find out this thing's about 12 inches tall. My dad always says measure twice, cut once. That's a pretty nice size display piece and I can't wait to put this piece in my Joker display. If you like Batman, if you like the Joker, if you like the Dark Knight trilogy, if you like the 2008 The Dark Knight film, if you like Heath Ledger, let me hear about all that in the comment section. Let's talk. Let's talk about it. I love to talk to everyone, especially if it has anything to do with our favorite cartoons, our favorite TV shows, our favorite movies, our favorite commercials, and all the characters and collectibles that come along with those genre of entertainment. That's entertainment. Go ahead and leave me some comments. Let's chat. As we look at this one-tenth scale statue on my rotating display, you will see that beautiful purple paint on his coat. You will see that awesome face paint that is on the Joker and that greenish tint to the Joker's hair. Just an amazing piece. That painted on smile that covers those scars. What amazing and haunting face makeup. Just amazing. You can't rely on anyone these days. You gotta do everything yourself. Don't we? Besides Jack Nicholson's portrayal of the Joker with all of his makeup, this piece right here is right there with that one. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> I can never determine if I like Jack Nicholson's Joker's face versus Heath Ledger's Joker's face. They're a toss-up and a tie to me. As we go down this statue, you'll see that suit that the Joker wears. Really nicely done on this piece. I really love this statue. We are tonight's entertainment. I've avoided statues because I'm more of an action figure type collector, but I saw some of these pieces that Iron Studios and other statue creators were putting out and I ventured into that market for my collectibles, for my collection. And right now looking at this 12 inch, 1 tenth scale statue of the Joker from the Dark Knight, I am very happy with my purchase. I'm so happy for him, go lucky me. And so excited to unbox the other ones that I have for the channel. As we go down the Joker, we see that he has those black gloves on and these Joker cards right there in his hand. Here's my card. That's a really cool little piece to be on this statue. He really does have a menacing look there, doesn't he? We move down to the stand and we see these jokers on each corner of this stand right here. This statue base, you can almost hear it. You can almost hear those jokers laughing. <laughs> This stand is really awesome. Reminds me of like the corners of those really old buildings within Gotham City. For those that call Gotham home, however, the city possesses an indefinable allure. Just amazing detail. And coming up very shortly, you will see all that detail in the close-up video. All right, Mr. DeMille, I'm ready for my close-up. There's not too much to go over with these statues. There are no moving parts. There's nothing to articulate, there's nothing to check out. It's all about looking at it. It's all about what meets your eye with this piece. The sculptors, the creators, they capture a moment in time in the film and they put it all together in this statue. That way when we go into our collector's room, our hobby room, we are instantly hit with one of our favorite scenes from our favorite film, our favorite TV show, or our favorite animated series. And right here, Iron Studios really hit it out of the park. And here we go. By capturing that menacing look of the Joker from the Dark Knight film 2008. And they really did capture the essence, the face of 
the amazing late great Heath Ledger. I really love Batman Begins and um, the Joker, the character of the Joker was just uh, too good to turn down. I, you know. Really great job Iron Studios. This is my first Iron Studios piece and I am very excited to have it on my collector's table, unboxed and ready for my The Joker collection. This has been Iron Studios 1 10th scale statue of the Joker portrayed by Heath Ledger in 2008's The Dark Knight. A real gem for my Joker collection. Thank you all for joining me at the collector's table. If you haven't hit that like button yet, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And go ahead and hit that notification bell. That way you don't miss out on future Iron Studios unboxings, the Joker unboxings, Batman unboxings, and unboxings and other videos in general. Mm, your ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter. I look forward to getting back to the collector's table real soon to unbox something awesome, something cool, something old, or something new. I am that Asian nostalgic toy guy. We'll see you again real soon. If you like this video, if you like the one before and the one before, and you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it very much. Uh, if you look forward to more fun and entertaining videos like the one you just watched, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I am that 80s nostalgic toy guy, and I look forward to seeing you again real soon.